Okay, let's just go for the spin up. Hit it. It's new gun day. On today's episode, we have the Reximex Lyra in 2.2 caliber. This is a beautifully built Turkish rifle and it's got a walnut stock. You've got a shoe trigger in black and I think it's uh, pretty impressive looking. Let's see how it shoots after we take a look at some nice shots of this rifle. See you at the range. This is the Reximex Lyra. It's a sleek and modern PCP air rifle featuring an ambidextrous walnut stock, side cocking lever and four-way adjustable trigger. With a length of 1070 millimeters and weighing in at 3.45 kilograms unscoped, this rifle is a beauty to behold. includes a single shot loader, two 12 shot magazines and a Picatinny mount and will give you approximately 110 shots per fill. The 580mm barrel has been threaded to fit a half inch UNF sound moderator. The Reximex Lyra, a budget rifle with all the thrills. We are out here at 18 meters and we have, as I say, the Reximex Lyra in 22 caliber. What do you get with this rifle? So this rifle comes with two uh, 12 shot self-index magazines. You get a single shot loader and you also get uh, a bolt-on Picatinny, which there is also a uh, lug or a screw for that to go on for you to mount a bipod. Um, I use the Vanguard port rain and I don't go out in the field so I don't really have a need for a bipod at this time but I think for the budget that this rifle is not bad you know you get a lot for your money. Um, on here I've got the Sentinel by Vector Optics it's a 5 to 25 by 50 and we're gonna run five shots at the center of that left-hand target and then we'll run five at each uh, center on the right target I've got there. One thing I will say is this feels very long and is definitely in my point of view a bench shooting or target shooting rifle budget PCP bench shooting rifle. Uh, there you go. <laughs> you have the power adjuster on the side here I'm not going to use that today, but is there if you have less distance or need to bring it down. I think that is mostly set for like an FAC model that is, is uh, going to have that greater capability and range. Let's see how this shoots. I think I've said it a number of times, I really like this way that this is swept under here. It really supports a nice ergonomic grip. You've got manual safety underneath and i'm just gonna run a couple of shots off see if we can get a center going on that target not bad two Point to note, not regulated rifle. Uh, so you can obviously add one if you're, if you're wanting to do that, but out of the box, it's not regulated. That was an interesting drop. One more. Not 
Okay. It might not like these, you know. Um, I'm going to run some different pellets through that, give it a bit of a chance. So what am I going to try next? I have... Let's run some Hades through this. So these are a heavier grain. These are 15.89 grain and Feeling this is a rifle that's going to need a bit of a bit of a test for what pellets you like. Sometimes you get lucky the first time. Sometimes you don't. Okay, let's run five of these. I'm going to aim it above the centre. See what sort of group I get from these. One, two, three, four, five. This is a very nice action. I've had some really chunky uh, side levers and this isn't one of those. Just adjust the focus there, okay. So I'm gonna aim at the five above. Much better group. Okay, nice. So proof in pellet testing there a little bit. Uh, this seems to be liking those Hades. So what I'm gonna do is run five center shots with the Hades onto that right-hand target and uh, run a bit of a high level conclusion on what I think of the Reximex Lyra. I think you all know I, I've shifted from 2.2 to 177 as my preference now. Uh, mostly because I'm a bench shooter and I like taking it out to push the distance now. So that being said, this feels really nice uh, in hand. Let's see what we can do on that right hand target. there because it came back through the uh, middle <laughs> destroying that target okay let's just go for the spin up Hit it. Nice, fun. Okay, that's all the shooting I'm gonna do on this one. Uh, let's go ahead and have a conclusion once I've played with it a bit longer uh, at different ranges. Let's give you a conclusion. So, the Rexim X Lyra in 2.2 caliber. Obviously, scope is not part of, of my conclusion. We are just talking about the rifle for the time that I've had it. Look, a lot of these rifles now, for the budget that you are, are spending for this, are phenomenal. Um, I've only really been shooting for nearly a year now, and I, I've, I think I've joined this sport when there is such a vast array of affordable, accurate rifles. This is a pleasure. Um, let me run some pros and cons. So, pros. This beautiful sweeping walnut stock. 
I think it's a fantastic looking uh, piece of kit. Uh, the, the black throughout against that dark walnut just is, is stunning. I think the, 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 the safety is in a really nice spot and not one of the cheaper ones that you've seen. I think I had on the, the Kral Empire was a red thing. Uh, this one surpasses that definitely. Fantastic two-stage adjustable shoe trigger. Um, yeah, it's, it's for the price you're paying a, a fantastic cheap but effective rifle. You've got your mounts for a sling, you've got um, your mount for your bipod, you've got a lot of rifle for the money. Cons. Um, it's quite heavy, so as I said before, and, and the length of it, you know, once you get a moderator on the end of this, because you do have just a stripper on the end and it does bark without that moderator, if you're out in the field, you might be scaring away a few birds. Um, I think a lot of these Turkish rifles now, you do have the dual mounting system. This only has the Picatinny Weaver, which obviously you can get yourself um, a, uh, an adapter if you wanted to, but I think from my perspective, if one's doing it now, a lot of them should do if they've got this bulkier um, setup here. But that's it, you know, from a, from a affordability standpoint, from a good looking rifle standpoint, if you are currently looking at something like this, or a Pretensis, or a lot of the Kral Arms rifles, you know, you're almost sport for choice. And uh, I think this one is definitely not one to be scoffed at, and uh, one that should be on your list. I always say this, if you can get yourself to an RFD, and get hands on with these rifles because I went to go and pick up one of these and ended up leaving with something different and uh, it's just based on how it felt at the time on the day. As always thank you to the surplus store for letting me get hands on with these uh, fantastic pieces of kit. If you can check them out surplusstore.co.uk. Other than that as always we need to sign off with a shoot safe, stay safe, catch you on the next one. Cheers! Cheers.